Okay, I guess I'm ready. You're going to start by talking to Mr. Williams. I'm hoping he knows where Chad lives. And if he doesn't? Then I guess I'll go back. We can always come back. I don't think we can. It'll be different next time. Well, I suppose you're right about that. Okay, wish me luck. Afternoon, sit down. I'll be with you in a moment. So, are you settling here? I am. This is a nice town. People are friendly. Well, just let me know if you need anything. I think I'm good right now. I have a job interview tomorrow. Really? What field are you going into? The train yard needs help. Figured I'd go there. Ah, uh, yes. They're usually quite busy. Lots of people always coming in. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm sure you'll find out tomorrow. What is it that you want to do? I don't know yet. I can see you as a supervisor, telling people what to do. Maybe. I don't have much experience with that. I think you do. You just don't know yet. Maybe. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. That's just a job interview. Come what may. I'm sure things will work out for you. Thanks. Now, how does this look? It looks good. You're a good barber. The trick is knowing shortcuts. Compared to the long cuts? I'm a barber, not a comedian. But thank God you didn't ask for a Tom Cruise cut. What's a Tom Cruise cut? Same cut, you just sit on a booster seat. I don't get it. He's short. Oh. <laughs> like I said, I'm a barber, not a comedian. How much do I owe you? It's on me. But if you see me at the bar, you owe me a drink. I haven't been to the bar yet. It's good. Beer is warm. Food is cold. That doesn't sound too appetizing. After a while, you won't even notice. I guess it's something you just have to get used to. Well, you're all set. Good luck on that interview tomorrow. Thank you. I guess I'll be seeing you around. Oh, yes. You will. All right, now, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm actually here for information. Well, you came to the right spot. What you looking for? I'm looking to find someone. Well, I know where just about everyone lives, so ask away. I'm looking for Chad. Chad? Yeah, the best man from Travis's and Becky's wedding. I think he's the handyman around here. Uh, I think you are confused with somebody else. Sean was the best man at my daughter's wedding. He grew up down, hasn't been around since, well, since the wedding. I haven't seen him since then. Travis told me that his best friend was Chad, and that he stood up in his wedding. I think Travis is pulling your leg, although I don't know why. Are you pulling my leg? Mister, I have no reason to pull your leg. Well then, who's the handyman then? Local handyman's been Eric, although I haven't seen him in a while either. Now this is making no sense. I don't know what to believe. Believe what you want to believe. Does Eric have any children or people that might work with him? Not my knowledge, but new people have come to town. Is it possible that Chad is a new handyman? I'm sure that anything's possible, but I figure I would have met him, or at least heard of him. I met him a while ago when I talked to the pastor. Maybe that's where you need to go and ask him then. I guess I have to. Thank you for your time. Let me know what you find out about him. I'm curious myself now. I'll do that. Thanks again. Did you hear all that? Every bit of it. Doesn't make sense, though. You're telling me. You going to go visit the pastor now? I don't have much choice, do I? I guess not.
Okay, I'm at the church, but I don't think anyone's here. Let me see if the door is open. A closed church? Maybe he walked or got a ride. Could be. The door's locked. You going to wait? I can wait for a little bit. While you're waiting, thought about what Mr. Williams told you? Yeah, but I don't know what to think about it. Do you think he was telling you the truth? I think he believes that he does. But you don't believe it. I believe in Travis. He was an honest man. I don't know why he would change the name. Who do you think you've met here before? I honestly don't know. Hey, mister. Everything okay? Oh, hello, miss. Everything's fine? Just waiting on the pastor? Oh, I don't think he's coming today. Did he say something to you? No, I think I saw it posted in the notes. Is there anything I can help you with? I was looking for someone. Aren't we all? Well, who are you looking for? <laughs> I'm looking for Chad. I think he's the handyman around here. Ah, uh, yes. A man who is good with his hands is hard to find sometimes. I can't help you, though. I don't know anyone named Chad. That seems to be a common thread. Do you know if he's new around here? I wouldn't know that. Well, if you need something fixed, my husband is good with his hands. I don't need anything fixed. Just wanted to talk to him. All right, mister. Make sure to check me out later. Bye, ma'am. I'm no ma'am. The name is Annette. If you need me, I'll be on my corner. Excuse me? Sorry. My shop is on the corner. I run Annette's general store. I know. I've been there a couple of times. Funny. I don't remember seeing you there before. Oh well. Must have been daydreaming. Take care, mister. You as well. I take care always. She is an odd one. Well, that's an understatement, but a lot of people here are. Do you think any of them know? Know what? Who Chad is. Only one that I know of. Yeah, but you can't just go up and talk to him. Not today. I think I have no choice but to go back to the ranch tomorrow and talk to him. Well, that could ruin everything. Yeah, but it's my last shot. I guess life is short. Give it a shot. We will find out tomorrow, then.